So it is midnight. The storm is just picking up. You can see the waves coming in opposite way of where they normally should be coming. They're coming out of the basin today and everything down here is kind of roped off. I guess they really don't want you walking on the uh, boardwalk. I was hoping to go take a look at that big sailboat over there. But not too bad so far. Pretty big wake though for the harbor. But nothing too major. You can see by the catamaran kind of bobbing up and down. Some good waves in the harbor. Everything over here is kind of uh, tied down pretty well. You can see the trees up on my building there moving around. A lot of rain so far. It's over by the ferry terminal. She's blowing pretty good. Near hotels kind of put sandbags around their door, so hunkered down that building. You can kind of see them all over the place, just putting sandbags by every door because of all this water coming down on the rain. Ah, they did it too. This is already broken. You can see the glass on the ground already. much has happened. We're going to lose a lot of leaves though, unfortunately. I don't know if I'd be parking on the street here. I think I would have went into one of the garages for the night. But, that's it, I guess. Two o'clock in the morning. Wind's still picking up. And, uh, really gusty. Power's been flickering. Most of Halifax now is without power. A few thousand people anyways. Spryfield's out. Of course, all the way out to Peggy's Cove is out. But we're doing good downtown. Which is odd. It's normally not the case. Lots of rain. Alright, it's now noon. I'm just heading out to go film all the damage and look around and see what's going on. You can see even the color of the leaves and a lot of these leaves have fallen off. This tree looks completely bare now. So definitely looks like fall now. Feels like fall. Now if you want to see some government waste, they left their flag and of course it ripped. And uh, the government's always lecturing us on uh, our environmental footprint and everything else this building's been under renovations for the last year and they leave every single light on in the whole entire building 24 7 even the lights are on now in there um, so I really do wish our government uh, starts uh, participating on what they're talking about and preaching to everyone else but we don't see that happening anytime soon let's go check out the damage and see how prepared they were on that catamaran it's like a French boat on the French name, but right in the middle. Very smart idea. Well tied in there. Guess you never know how bad a storm's gonna be until it comes, right? But not really any damage here, you know. It really didn't hit us too bad. I think more of the northern section of Nova Scotia got hit the worst. And uh, if you lost power last night, let me know in the comments. Because I didn't, and I still have power now, which is great. See that flagpole way up there still a little bit of wind but uh, not bad it's just freezing cold it's only 10 degrees today so winter coat weather almost coming out of summer so there we go first damage i've seen so far one tree on a gatorade machine probably better for the kids anyway not to be drinking gatorade with all the sugar so there it is downtown Halifax did have damage. A little bit of flooding in the parking lot. Not too bad though.
more tree branches down some of the seaport signs are ripped but all in all this storm really wasn't all that bad at all not all that much damage you know we've seen a lot worse you know white wan and uh one when i was in university I think it was like two, 2008 2009 we had a bad one in september where all the trees came down in point pleasant park and uh, i was in the army at the time we got called in to start uh, clearing the streets of trees and it was a mess people were without power like five days to uh two weeks so not a storm like that anyways just some advice if you are staying overnight and you get stuck in a hotel area make sure you move your car into a uh, underground garage probably one that's not below water level uh, just so you don't have a tree falling on your car obviously this hit two cars that have already been moved in the morning but uh, you definitely don't want that to ruin your vacation see more branches there so a lot of these cars are probably all dinged up and scratched like this minivan but, uh, yeah just go for a above ground parking lot there we go that's what you want to find it's like 20 bucks to park your car there for the night this park is pretty good there's a lot of leaves on the ground and sticks and branches again i have to alliterate please don't park underneath a tree during a hurricane not the smartest move this pub's copper roof didn't really last too good seems like it got bent all up it's like a broken window up there too may or may not have been caused at some other time this is a pretty good pop in here for live music if you ever did check it out the lights are working down the street up here no lights and no one's got power either so we have more tree branches coming down that house has got quite the cleanup i guess they got a lot of properties here in Halifax, so I'm sure that they got their workers running around trying to clear all this stuff from all their properties. Graveyard seems to have done okay. Governor's General's Mansion seems to be okay. And uh, if you think on the lines that I think, probably time to get rid of the uh, British Crown here in Canada. I think that time's long past. And... Uh, should probably just be our own country without them why are we wasting billions of tax dollars on them every year for nothing We're probably more in alliance with uh, the states than with uh, Britain these days it was a cute idea way back in the day but it makes no logical sense today and you can leave your comment if you believe that too that we should separate from the crown so that's going to conclude the video hope you enjoyed it i hope you guys get power wherever you're at if you're without it hopefully it comes on real fast and if you are wondering tim hortons is open today so if you want a coffee come on down lower water street tim hortons and uh, anyways big thank you to all the nova scotia power people that are out working those lines getting the power back on because there are a lot of people thousands without power uh, i don't think the storm was too major but definitely hits the infrastructure for the power grid so hats off to those guys and women who are working on those lines and uh, keeping the power going. So that is it for the first hurricane here in Halifax 2022.